What if I told you there was a way to create an entirely passive income stream using only free software? That's exactly what we're gonna get into today with seven free software tools you can use to turn your YouTube channel, Instagram account, or email list into a passive income machine. What up, Wade here. So if you've been in the internet marketing world long enough, you know, this is kind of the story that plays out. You get excited, the barrier for entry is really low, and you get that little fee of $27 a month for some sort of email marketing system. Then all of a sudden you need a CRM. Then on top of that, you need to think about hosting. You need to think about that domain, and all of a sudden $19 a month, $47 a month, $297 a month, you get a couple memberships, and you're at $1,000, $2,000, maybe even more, and initially what seemed like a low overhead business, all of a sudden balloons out to be completely overwhelming. And I think a lot of times it kind of reminds me back of when I used to be a musician. And so I played the keyboards and I had all these vintage like the Hammond B3 organ, and then I had to get the Leslie, and I looked at the people that I looked up to, like Pedesky, Martin, and Wood, and Sly and the Family Stone, and I'm thinking, okay, I need to get that vintage keyboard. Oh, they got that extra little pedal, and you get sucked into the pedals that all your stars use, and you're thinking if all of a sudden you get the exact same equipment, then you'll be as successful as they are. You see this all the time with YouTubers as well, where they get the exact same camera gear. And when it comes to the information marketing business, whether you're selling courses or coaching or anything like that, I've tried out pretty much every product there is. From membership platforms, CRMs, email autoresponders, merchant accounts, deadline timers, landing page software, tracking system, analytics, customer support tools, secondary tools to integrate it all, tertiary tools to track it all. And what's cool is I'm in a lucky situation to work with a variety of different creators in a variety of different industries and cross-pollinate which tools have worked best and seen consistent patterns. And so what I'm gonna get into are seven free tools that are better than the paid alternatives to help you build that passive evergreen sales machine. The first free tool is called Elementor. And so I actually found this recently by digging into the source code of a competitor of one of my clients, and I saw this sort of Elementor thing popping up in the CSS files. What I've come to realize is that this is a great alternative to ClickFunnels, which is an awesome landing page software but it costs at starting $97 a month up to $297 a month. And don't get me wrong, ClickFunnels is an awesome software that we still use with our clients, but we have a good dozen of them when we're crossing different sort of designs, sharing things through links and things like that. And the big thing that we're using ClickFunnels for is opt-in pages and sales pages. So when it comes to that evergreen sales machine, if you wanna build these things out fast, ClickFunnels is a great resource but there's a totally free version of it called Elementor. And then boom, you are saving $97 every single month. It's just as easy to design, it's just as easy to play around with. The CSS, the HTML, all that stuff is great. And so if you got a WordPress website, I highly recommend checking it out. The second free tool is MailChimp. And so you've probably heard of an email autoresponder before, but let me put this in context of the evergreen sales machine. And so, like I said, you start off, you need some sort of opt-in page. You wanna get people off of your website or get people off of your YouTube channel or get people out of Instagram. And so what you need to do is get them to raise their hand and opt in to get them on email because all of a sudden now, they're under your control and you have the power and you can do whatever you want with them. And yes, it's true, people are opening their emails less and less, but it's one of the only ways where you're kind of platform neutral, where you're not relying on one single platform. When you have that email, it's yours to hold on to and keep and use as you like. And what the goal of this is what you're really trying to do is build a sort of weekly process where when you put an email out, when your fans and your audience, they see that email, they open it, there's value there from your free content. I think you can have about 500 or 1,000 contacts in your email list before MailChimp forces you to upgrade. The other thing you can't do properly is automation stuff, but I'm gonna show you another free tool that's even better for that. We'll call this tool 2B because it's kind of cheating saying it's free in the fact that there's a trial period and it's using ActiveCampaign. And so ActiveCampaign is what they call a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Tool. And what this is really great for is you take your contact and you can put everything from little tags about you know how did they sign up for your list, they can be signed up for multiple little lists, and then you can create automation sequences so that let's say they open this email, they buy this thing, they don't get this email, there's a lot of different permutations that you can go through, which is great when you all of a sudden have multiple products, or you go to send them into higher type things, maybe all of a sudden they don't buy the initial thing and you can push them into a downsell. And over the last few years, Active Campaign has made a lot of moves in their software and just upgrading things regularly. It's also even cheaper than a lot of other CRMs to really be at the vanguard. Now, word of warning, a lot of times it feels good to get the sexy software and thinking that's what's gonna lead to the success, 
The software is not what leads to success. It's the tactics and the strategy and the marketing behind all that, the copy that goes into that. If you got crap copy, it doesn't matter what the tactics are or how good your software is or how beautiful the design is. And so what I made the mistake of and what I see too many people do with this, and this is why this is sort of two point B, is the fact that you don't need any of these tools to build that whole evergreen sales machine. You can build this entire system out with just an email autoresponder. You can have it so when they purchase, it fills out a form and it moves them off a certain list and things like that, moves them to different lists. And so you don't need to have all this sort of custom software, but definitely as you start growing, definitely as more revenue comes in, this is one of the best investments there is. The third three tool, we're going this in order of how you would actually wanna set this up, is Google Analytics. And so like I said, I've wasted thousands of dollars on sophisticated tracking systems and software that was just really not worth it. And what we keep coming back to is that good old Google Analytics. It's one of the easiest things to set up. You just go create a free account, get the tracking code and slap it into the header of either your website or the landing page software that you're using. And I know analytics doesn't sound very sexy, but this is one of the most important things when it comes to tracking how effective your sales funnel is doing and where you need to dive into the details. And I can't tell you how many times in my own business or with clients where all of a sudden sales dip a bit and we go, hey, what's going on here? And we think maybe is it the sales copy or did it some sort of software or something like that? And we look in and maybe all of a sudden there was one video got deplatformed or all of a sudden the SEO dropped by 30% and it had nothing to do with actually the conversion rate of the lead magnet. And it really moves you away from acting on emotion to start acting on rational objective decisions, which leads well into the fourth tool also provided by Google for free. They're so nice. And that's using Google Sheets. And so if you have a business, you know you really should have the whole G Suite set up where you're using a proper domain. I think it's like between five and $10 a month based on the size of your business for getting an email associated with your website. So it's wade at wadealters.com and not wadealters at gmail.com. And then with it, you get all sorts of storage in your Google Drive capacity and you get Google Documents as well as Google Sheets. And what's great about Google Sheets is that unlike Microsoft Excel, is that it's universal. You can share it with anyone at any time. And for me, I might be a little bit sort of nerd fanatical with this, but every Monday morning, it's like Christmas for me because I get all my sort of clients' results. I have my VA, she lives in Philippines, so her Monday is my Sunday night. So I wake up Monday morning with a complete dashboard of all my clients. And so I can look like a mad scientist at a dozen clients' sheets and see what is the conversion rate of the opt-ins for this person? What is the conversion rates of the sales page for this one? What is the conversion rate of the upsell over here? Is traffic up, is traffic down? And again, it makes it such an objective decision that you can look at what this week do I need to focus on that's really gonna impact the top line and the bottom line most effectively. And so when it comes to that evergreen sales machine, if you're following along at the beginning, we have the traffic source. That's your Instagram, that's your YouTube, that's your email list. That is the first column on your Google Sheet. From there, we wanna go to opt-ins, the next stage as we move them off of the traffic source into your email list, look at the conversion rate. Put those numbers on the sheet and see how many people end up on the sales page. From there, look at your CRM or into your shopping cart and see what are the checkouts? What are the sales looking like? What is that conversion rate? If you have an upsell, do the same thing. And then every single week, compile this aggregate the months together so you have a historical analysis of really seeing how things are growing, how you can optimize, what are you gonna look for for great split test opportunities, and what is the biggest lever to really impact your income. But of course, we need to make some sales, so we're gonna need another free tool, which is tool number five, I think we're on number five here, and that is Stripe. And I'm sorry to tell you, unless you're using Bitcoin or something like that, which I would not suggest, if you're gonna use a merchant account, there's gonna be a little bit of a fee. But at least with Stripe, there's no sort of initial fee, there's no sort of monthly fee, and it's just 2.9% of the sale. That's pretty much as low as you're gonna get unless you're like a multi-million dollar business. You might be able to inkle a little bit more out of that. But Stripe is another one of those softwares where it's super easy to set up, put in your name, put in your email, associate a bank account, and boom, you're ready to get payment. The sixth free tool you should definitely be using in your evergreen sales machine, even if you don't have an evergreen sales machine yet, is Zapier. And what Zapier does, it integrates everything. It's got somehow it communicates through some magical technology and you don't need to know anything. You don't need to have any tech savviness whatsoever. And you'll be able to connect things where if all of a sudden a payment comes in, boom, it automatically pops into your Google Sheets. We have it set up where every time I upload a YouTube video, boom, it pops over to our task management, our project management software, so that my VA can immediately see that and she can get to work on creating the thumbnail and handing that off to the designer. And so when it comes to systemization, and again, that sort of passive aspect of things, of how do I get this so it just runs on autopilot, 
Zapier is one of the most amazing tools there is. And for most people, you're only gonna need the free version. And once you got Zapier, we gotta get this momentum going here. Seven, eight, nine, Zapier plus Asana, plus G Drive, plus Slack. That's the trifecta or the, the quattro or whatever you wanna call it here that really builds an automated business, systematizing everything. So you have Zapier integrating, talking through all the stuff, using something like Asana, which is a project management tool, completely free. I don't know how they make any money with this. And so there we put in, let's say for us, you know, we do it with our weekly schedule. All of a sudden, boom, the YouTube video pops up. I put it up on YouTube, it integrates with Zapier, throws it up on Asana, emails it off to my VA. She sees everything she needs to do. Boom, it all of a sudden triggers in Slack. We can communicate, give feedback in there. And then everything is housed inside of Google Drive. Google Sheets are tracking everything. And you have this beautiful system. And like I said, it's all free. The systemization process, this is what shifts you out of that first gear into second gear and making this into a real business. And I hope you can also see the way that I laid these tools out. This really is the sort of business model, the process that we use to build these evergreen sales machines, starting from the beginning of how do I move them off of whatever platform they're on onto an email list so I can start targeting them with direct emails, selling them on whatever I'm selling, having the CRM to keep everything organized, and then having the Google Sheets, the Google Drive, Zapier communicating and Asana and all that sort of stuff. And it leads to this sort of top-down meta view of truly making it look like a business. It is a business. And then from there, you can see exactly where you need to focus on and really change how you look at your business and being more the scientist on the outside and going, okay, let's tweak little dials here. Let's tweak something over here. And you're coming at it from a place of power instead of that reactive mode where you're chicken with his head cut off going, what am I gonna do today? I gotta put out another video. And like I said, I tried all the different software out there and you don't need to pay up. You don't need to be paying thousands of dollars. In the same way that buying that $50,000 red camera is not gonna lead to all of a sudden you get into a million views on your next YouTube video. It's the same thing when you're paying for software. It's about the tactics and the strategy behind it. The copy that goes into that, the marketing and the persuasion, which is what this channel is all about. That's what really is gonna to lead to you being successful, which leads to the question, what do I use for that lead magnet? What do I put on that sales page? What are the words that I use to email them? What are the subject lines? What are the body copy? Things like that. So I'll make sure to put a couple videos up here that really show you my process of persuasion. And I also love to know what is your favorite tool, whether it's paid or whether it's free. If you could just comment down below because there's always new things coming out. So do that. If you love this video, like it. And if you haven't subscribed, do all that. As always, enjoy.